is Erica. I'm with UMBC Recreation, and today I will be leading you through a gentle yoga class ending with a meta meditation. For the yoga portion of the class, it'll last for about nine minutes. By gentle movement, I mean slow breaths, slow movements, easy movements. So I'm not gonna be asking you guys to do anything crazy like throw your leg behind your head or do the splits. Nice, easy movements here. Then we're gonna move into our meta meditation practice, which will last about five minutes. If you're unfamiliar with the style, it is also known as loving kindness meditation because we practice expressing love for ourselves as well as expressing love to others and those around us. Before we get started, I wanna remind everyone to always listen to your body, never push yourself too hard, and always check with the doctor before you start a new exercise regimen. Today we're going to get started laying down flat on our belly with your head towards the front of your mat. So however you can get down to the mat comfortably, come all the way down flat, bring your toes to touch, big toes touch but heels fall out, arms are along the sides of the body, palms face up, head turns to one side and you rest your cheek on the mat. Everyone take a nice deep breath in through your nose, fill the body up with breath and exhale slowly out through the mouth, relaxing completely onto the floor. We're gonna start here with just some deep breaths. Wiggle the shoulders away from the ears, make some space for your neck. Maybe gently rock the hips side to side, help release the low back. And if you'd like a deeper stretch for your neck, you can turn your head so you're resting more on your ear than you are your cheek. Give me a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through nose, out through mouth. Slowly turn your head to the opposite side, starting on your cheek first. Keep with those nice deep breaths. And if you deepen the stretch for your neck on the opposite side, do the same here, resting on your ear rather than your cheek. Turn your head so your chin is on the mat, and then bring your arms forward, bending at the elbows to support your head like a pillow, so right beneath the head. Chin can stay on the center, or you can turn your head to one side or the other, whatever feels best for you and your neck. And we'll move into frog, so right knee will bend, keeping it tracking along the floor. The more you bring this knee up towards the arms and the face, the more you're gonna open the hip. So it's up to you how much sensation you would like to create here. Once you find a position that you can hang out in for a few breaths, hold there, deep in the breath, and allow the tension in your hips to release. Slowly start to straighten right leg and bend the left knee into frog. Again, creating as much or as little sensation as you like. If you had your head turned to one side, turn it to the opposite side now. And bring your focus back to the breath. Start to straighten left leg and place your hands underneath your shoulders, elbows facing up towards the ceiling and press yourself into tabletop position. So on your hands and your knees, wrist stacked under shoulders and knees stacked underneath the hips. 
round the spine to cat pose, drawing the belly in, tucking chin to chest. Then slowly lift and arch to cow, letting the belly hang, gazing up to ceiling. One more time, round the spine to cat, draw belly in. Lift and arch to cow, let the belly hang, and return to a neutral tabletop position. Lower the elbows down to the mat into puppy pose. Elbows stacked under shoulders, palms face down on the mat, and let the head hang heavy. Getting a nice length in the spine here. If you'd like to add a little more sensation to the shoulders and the chest, walk the elbows forward just a few inches and press down into the elbows to find a lift out of the shoulders and broaden the shoulders wide across the back side of the body. Now slowly press into child's pose. Hips come all the way down to the heels, arms extended down the mat, forehead to mat. Big toes touch, but the knees are separate, making space for the belly. If for any reason you are not comfortable in child's pose, you can come back to puppy up on the elbows and take a few more breaths here. Still getting a nice length in the spine in either position. Slowly start to make your way into a seated position facing the front of your mat. And extend both legs out in front of you. Bend the right knee, placing your foot to the floor, then let the knee fall all the way down to the floor. Put a slight bend in the extended leg, flexing the foot, heels pressing down to the mat. Take a deep breath in through the nose, lift both arms up overhead. As we exhale, we'll find the fold, dropping our belly to our thighs, placing our arms down at our sides, gazing down towards our leg. Spine is nice and long here. Think about sending your chest forward, drawing belly in, lengthening away from your sits bones. If your belly is pressed against your leg and you need a little more sensation, you can straighten the left leg just a tad. And slowly rise up and we'll switch legs. So start with both extended. Left knee bends, foot to mat, the knee falls to floor. Slight bend in the extended leg, lengthen the spine, draw belly in now as you inhale, lifting both arms overhead, then exhale to fold, belly to thighs, arms at your sides. Nice deep breaths, leading with the chest, relieving tension in our legs. Slowly rise back up and come to any comfortable cross-legged position or a seated position. Legs don't have to be crossed. They could be in a loose diamond shape. However, you can sit comfortably while keeping your spine up long. Place your hands at your sides, fingertips to floor. Bring your left arm up towards the ceiling for me. Reach through the tips of the fingers and add a side bend over to the right. Chin stays lifted from the chest and try not to crunch onto the right side of the body. Think about keeping some length on the right side as well as the left. Deep breaths into the chest here. And we'll switch sides. So left hand comes down, right arm comes up, reach through the tips of the fingers and then add a side bend. Nice deep breaths into chest. Slowly place arms at your side. Twisting from the belly to turn towards the right into spinal twists. Right hand behind you, left hand in front. And turn your gaze to look over right shoulder. Spine stays long, belly draws in slightly. Give me a deep breath in through your nose. As you exhale out through your mouth, we'll unwind and return to center. Spinal twisting to the left, left hand behind, right in front. Look out over left shoulder. Take a few breaths here. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth as you arrive and turn to center. Take one hand to your chest and one hand to your belly. Look down towards your mat 
And take a few breaths here, bringing awareness to your body and your breath, closing the eyes if you're comfortable doing so. Take a few moments here in stillness. And release, arms to your side, chin lifts from the chest. So now we're going to move into our meta meditation practice. The key in meditation, if you're new to meditation, is to be comfortable in your body. Whatever that may mean for you, you're more well than welcome to lay down. For me, that's a cross leg position. If you're in a seated position, you want to keep the spine upright, so nice long spine. If that feels kind of hard to do without a support, you can move so that your back is propped up against a couch or a wall. Make yourself comfortable. And then once you're in that comfortable position, if you are in seated, you're going to place your hands on your knees with your palms face up. If you're laying down, arms out at your side, palms face up, so that we're nice and receptive. And you're either going to close the eyes completely or lower chin to chest and look down at the floor, keeping your gaze focused on one spot. We'll start by bringing our attention to our breath. Deepen the breath just a bit and follow every rise and fall of your chest. Knowing that as we deepen our breath, we're bringing ease to our minds and our bodies as well. Now bring your attention to your heart center, the middle of your chest, and imagine that there is a cave there, a hollow cave. And we're gonna fill that cave up. And we'll start with ourselves. So picture yourself in that cave at the center of your heart. Picture yourself as you're sitting now. Picture what you have on, how your hair is done. Take a look at yourself and picture a smile on your face and smile back to yourself. Repeating silently to yourself or out loud if you wish after me. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I be loving and kind. Focus back to the breath. Now we're going to invite somebody else into the center of our heart. We're going to extend that invitation to somebody we find easy to love. First person that comes to your mind, whether it's a spouse, a friend, a sibling, a child. Picture that person in the center of your heart. Do your best to picture them, picturing them in an outfit you've seen them in, how maybe they wear their hair. And again, picture a smile on their face and smile back to them, repeating after me. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be loving and kind. Let's open our hearts for one more person. Fill that space up in the center of our heart. This time I ask you to invite someone who's not so easy to love, maybe someone that you've been at odds with recently or got into an argument with. Again, whether that may be a spouse, a friend, a neighbor, a coworker. Picture that person in the center of your heart as hard as that may be. Picturing as many details about the person as you can, but most importantly, picturing a genuine smile on their face. And I ask you to genuinely smile back at them. One last time, repeating after me. May you too be happy. May you too be healthy. May you too be loving and kind. Again, I'll ask you to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Take a deep breath in through your nose, holds it at the top, and exhale slowly out the mouth. Again, deep breath in through the nose, fill the body up, and exhale out through the mouth, letting everything go on the exhale. 
Take a second and thank yourself for joining me on this practice today. There is a light within me that honors the light that exists within you. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed this gentle practice. I hope you feel relaxed. If you did, please tune in to see me again, but we've got lots of classes to offer for the Retrievers Recharge. I hope you take advantage and enjoy. I hope to see you guys next time.